This is the FC that we're tackling. And it's his birthday, that's why we AWOX him. We're gonna kill him. Omika, shut up. You've been a very big part for Bombers Bar in, over the last year, and you're one of the best hunting FCs. I'm in what to possibly some kind of. Sino is up, Sino is up. That's why you deserve to lose this shitty ship. So, since you don't have your hunting tank anymore, we got you something else. Look at your brand new sim. Thanatos primary, need a secondary. Ah, jump the fighters, jump the fighters, jump the fighters, jump the fighters. And that's why some of us chipped together some skis and bought him a new set. Are you getting emotional now? Things changed. It's not a secret that I'm not a fan of Empires of Eve. They told me to either stop expressing this or just leave Bombers Bar. I wasn't also a fan of the way that Bombers Bar was managed, but they didn't like that. They banned me from my MPSI. They kicked me from my wormhole. They destroyed my assets and stole my ships. They hacked my website and compromised my Gmail. They deserved what was coming. I told them I would make it costly. They told me I'm just one guy. They miscalculated two things. Their wormhole was juicy and their fleets were exposed. And here is what one guy can do. First, I let everyone know this wormhole exists. AC2 with no capitals, only medium structures, no defense doctrine, hundreds of billions of loot, and a handful of people defending it. This wormhole was a perfect target for an eviction, and I didn't even need to offer ISK for people to be interested. I chose wormhole outlaw and gave them the intel and the entrance they needed. They made the first attempt in two weeks, but they lost all control and let a spectre fleet slip through the wormhole. I wasn't there to help them, and unfortunately they lost their fleet and had to go home. Secondly, I needed some source to make ISK so I can pay for my revenge. I chose faction warfare missions, developed some meta, and made a lot of money. And now, it was time to bother their fleets a little bit. And have some fun. First, I tried to smite on them during their fleets. But I could only use Black Ops battle ships, which were costly if I lost these ships. In here, I use a bookmark cannon that is brought by my spy in the fleet, so my spy is not burned. Then I sign away in two black boxes to smack on their feet. I killed half of their fleet. I also lost the sin, 
So it was half a success and I needed to try something else. In the next attempt, I would try to bubble them during their fleet work and smart bomb them with my two smart bombing producers. The delicate balance here is that if I bubble too early, then they will notice and they will not work. But if I bubble too late, then they will not land on the bubble. And that's exactly what happened. So I failed this attempt and lost the Proteuses. I needed to figure out some cheaper method because I needed to save money for the actual thing I want, an eviction. That's how I came up with what I call tail bombing. In these wormhole fleets, bombers bar often fleet warp their entire bomber wing together with really slow warping battleships. Tail bombing relies on having hyperspatial fit bombers and following the enemy fleet right after their war. The enemy fleet is a slow warping fleet, so their landing deceleration will be slow as well. So if you do the timing right, you bomb them even before they finish landing. But it's only effective against ships that warp as slow as a battleship, but also these ships should have low EHP, so they die to only 7 bombs at most. Which means tail bombing is generally inapplicable. Except versus bombers now. All this happened between March and September 2017, but I was busy in real life for half of that time, so the damage I did was insignificant. When I came back to EVE in late August, I began looking for some mercenaries so we can evict them. I had talks with wholesale operations and we had a deal for 60 billion, but they reconsidered the deal and decided that they weren't ready to pull such a big operation off. They told me to check back in two months, so I was waiting for that period and perfecting my tail bombing. But all of a sudden I received this mail from Tifida, the CEO of Wormhole Outlaw, that they wanted to give it a second try. Since they didn't want any money from me, I gave them the entrance and the intel they needed. Meanwhile, Bombers Bar didn't change their password on their chat channel, so I was able to infiltrate with my alts. We have retrieved the list of all occupants of this wormhole, which was very precious intel for Wormhole Outlaw. They had five medium structures in the wormhole. But the timers were such that it takes five days to evict this wormhole, instead of nine days, which is what it could have been. Tifita gave me 4 days notice, so I was able to move strategic ships into this wormhole, such as rolling ships, sabers and cloaky tech trees. We began the operation on the Thursday, September 7th. It was a surprise for me as well to realize that this was a joint operation and inner hell was there too. Bombers Bar tried to resist in the next 2 days. On Friday, they made a big spectra fleet, FC'd by Moratia. They tried to use Terra to come into this wormhole from the Nasek static. 
As long as we kept the wormhole critical where until someone appears in the Nalsec, we were safe. We take one battleship, it takes about 4 minutes to close a wormhole after it appears. So the next wormhole needed to spawn really close to Terra for them to get into the wormhole before we collapsed the wormhole. So it was a fox chase between me and Moratia, but I was able to hold them out with my rolling ships. The next day they went to a wormhole with C2 static. They wanted to roll this C2 static in order to spawn a new wormhole in our system. A fleet like this rolls one wormhole per 5 minutes, and there are about 500 C2 wormholes in EVE Online. This gave them around 1% chance to spawn inside our wormhole for a 4 hour fleet. So I decided to go there and harass them with more tail bombing. I killed their rolling onyx and I potted one of their roller battleship pilots which significantly slowed their rolling process. They rolled perhaps 10 wormholes and after this day they gave up. Inner Hell and Wormhole Outlaw skillfully maintained hull control and Bomber Spar didn't make any attempt to break it. They announced everyone to contract their ships to FCs who live in the wormhole and they saved what they can in locked off freighters but it was too late for many people. And finally, the judgment day arrived. <laughs> The citadels left behind two planetoids of loot. My computer froze. It took hours for them to carry the loot into their own citadel. The total estimation of the loot was 170 million. Over 35 billions of assets were destroyed during 5 days. And we conservatively estimate some 20 billion of ships were self-destructed. For Inner Hell and Wormhole Outlaw, this was their most profitable eviction. For me, it was a deliberate promise. Never underestimate what one guy can do.